Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> he was happy about that. I think I did something wrong. Hello, everyone. Um, bear with me one moment. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, and the cat is meowing. I don't know if you can hear him. This is a great start. Hello, everyone. How's it going? It's next fest. It's demos and stuff. Because why not? So, uh, it's very quiet out there. Nobody said anything, but that's fine. I think there's people watching, at least I hope so. So, let's just get on with it, shall we? So, next fest, if you don't know, is a bunch of demos. Sort of, uh, of uh, they throw out every, everyone, everyone throws out demos. Art 3 Mouse, hello, welcome. Good to see you. So, uh, yeah. Because why play games that we already have? And Isaac1230, hello. Why play games we already have? Uh, the hundreds of games we already have, when we could... Wait, 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 don't auto-advance. I was um, I haven't even finished. Um, when we could play demos of games that aren't even out yet. This looks kind of cool. Let's put, some, let's put some sound on. Can we put sound on? There we are. Is that good volume? So, this looks like some kind of... You build walkers. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Oh, is that... Oh, PvPVE. PvPVE. What's PvPVE? Hmm. hmm. I'll install the demo. We'll see how it goes. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Install. Yes. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Streets of Rogue 2. I haven't really played the first one very much. Why is there no sound for this one? There must be sound. What the hell? Oh, there we are. Okay, sound has come. Yeah, I think I played the original of this with Pac Billy. Welcome to <laughs> the City of Dreams. Cool. Is that is that Jesse? What's his name? A fresh start. Is it Jesse? Jesse, uh, the guy from Cox and Crendor. The guy who isn't Crendor. Jesse Cox, that's what I'm thinking. Is that him? It looks like him. We're a corrupt president. Yeah, this is too much story. I want to see the game. Show me the game. Uh, demos always... I mean, trailers always lose me. If they, See, this is more interesting. This is what's actually happening. Streets of Rogue 2 is an immersive open-world sandbox dialed up to 11. 11, eh? Oh... Yeah. Who you want? Write your own story, and you can do all of it. Sure, why not? With oh, co-op. Although the original had that too. Okay. Next game: Rise of the Golden Idol. Hmm. I'm already not interested. It's amazing how important the first three. Se oh, there's no audio. At least there is. It's amazing how important the first three seconds of a trailer are. Like. I'm sure this is a very well-made game, but I just don't care. I'm sorry. And it's harsh. It's really harsh. But this is the reality of, of game dev now. Is that if you don't impress someone within three... I mean, this looks cool. It's got my interest. Action roguelike. Roguelite. I could just spend the whole two hours watching this. Just watching, dem watching trailers. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? The map is the skill tree. Ooh, that's an interesting concept. Can I make this bigger? No. Apparently not. No. Is there a way to zoom in on Steam? Mm. Citizen Sleeper 2. Why is why does the sound not work suddenly? Do you the original Streets of Rage? I'm excited for the sequel. Do you mean Streets of Rogue? You probably mean Streets of Rogue. If you don't tell someone what your game is right away, then how do we know how long we have to play before we get any gameplay? Exactly. What's this? Tabletop inspired RPG. Mm, this looks like too much for a demo. 
Mm. No. <laughs> Why does the sound not work? Give me sound. The trailer is nothing without sound. There we go. And then it starts over. It's weird. That's all right. No worries, sharp objects. Hello, how's it going? Welcome in. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending where you are. Oh, there's some good name drops here. Mm, no, it doesn't grab me. Special Agent Wizard Boy, no. Worshippers of Cthulhu. Hmm. Okay, give it a minute and it will restart with the audio. There we are. Lead the Cult of Cthulhu. For some reason. Streets of Rouge, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, it's like a city builder. Like a populace. But... Or a cult, like a, like, like a cult simulator. You're building a cult. Compound. Hmm. I think this will be too much for a quick demo. It looks cool, though. Ooh, hey, it's, uh... It's that Game Boy Advance game. You know the one, it, you know the one. The one that also hasn't, uh, it's got war in the title, probably. Mm. These kind of strategy games never really grab me because they're just like, I don't know. They feel, look, I mean, the strategies are kind of like puzzle games in a weird way. The King of Typios. <laughs> That's perfect. Brilliant. I don't know if that was intentional, but it was hilarious. Borleanair. No. What? What is it even to say? Collector? Kletter? Kletka. Ooh. Ooh. Co-op horror game, but going down an elevator that's trying to eat you. I like the art style. It's got that low-res texture thing going on. Oh, the music. Oh, no. The music put me off. Okay. That's too much. Bloodshed. Roguelike Survivors FPS. It's, you got a frying pan. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's have a let's have a first person shooter. Why not? Okay, not that one. <laughs> That's too real. Talatoani. Talatoani. Aztec civilization stuff. Ooh. Advance Wars, yes. What's the one I played with Pac Willy? It was like Fantasy Advance Wars. With a dog. I can't remember what it's called. Luma Island. Epic Adventure. Mm, no, the art style doesn't work for me. Ooh. Ale Abbey. Build and expand your monastery. Craft recipes and brew holy ales in this unique brand brewery, brewery tycoon. Okay. Make alcohol as a monk. And see God. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I like the I like the pixel art. I've got an idea. Look, let's let's build let's make a load of money by selling drugs. I mean alcohol, it's not a drug. It was good but didn't have the level design that Advance was. Wargroove, yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't think I played actually played Advance Wars. It was fun, but it was also limited. Hmm, this looks complicated. But maybe I'll try it. I should probably not install more than like 10 of these because I'm not going to get to them all at this rate. Ooh. Old school action adventure. Mm, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Doesn't take much some time. Ooh. Real time Forex sci fi grand strategy. Ooh. How can you. Like, what is a demo of this kind of game like? This looks cool though. Like, the planets are really small. Look at that! Look how tiny those planets are. I kind of like that, though. Because it's taking the... The concept of, you know... Of colonising these planets, and it's, they're all tiny. They're all little, aren't they? Little planets. It's, it reminds me, it's like the Outer Wilds. Which I still haven't finished. <laughs> yeah. 
streamed that in 2020 or 21, wasn't it? And it looks cool, but... Mm, uh, yeah, no, no. Project Mist. Open World Survival Horror, no. Ooh, Blacksmith Ignite the Forge. Mix of Simulate oh. Strategy and Auto Battler. Hmm. Yeah, it's got some dwarf, uh, dwarf energy. Cool. Yeah, all right. Okay. Journey to Incrementia. Auto battler. Mm. Uh, it looks like Llamatron on acid. No, that's something. That's saying something. Widget Incorporated Factory. Oh, I don't have the brain for that. Not today, anyway. Fast paced first person hack and slash. Beow. What time is it? Let's let's go no later than than half past to actually gather the demos. How many have I downloaded already? Like... One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, will it take me back to the right place? Yes. Okay. What if I do for you? There, do for you. By genre charts. This is not for me. No, that's not for me. I don't like that. <laughs> oh no. Fast food simulator. That's just cooking simulator, isn't it? But yeah, let's do this one. This will be hilarious. Okay. No. Mm, no. No. <laughs> Steel and sorcery. I feel like this one is less for this category is less for me than the homepage was. Mm, no. Mm. Eternal conflict, the steampunk. No, um, I'm being more picky now. Tinker Islands, no. Wild assault, no. Forsaken frontiers, you know. Overthrown. Looks like a Zelda, but with big pumpkins. I didn't really even give that a shot. King's Gambit. Turn-based co-op roguelite with a chess twist. No. Ragtag heroes. Roguelite deck builder. Ooh, for up to three players. Mm, I do like a little roguelike deck builder. Breath of Wild plans on PC? Yeah. There's probably a lot. Bound to be an okay one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. It's finding the good ones. No. Unrailed 2, back on track. No. Lost lullabies. Oh, goodness. Oh, Streets of Rogue again. Uh, Super Glue? Super Vive? Something. No, we saw that already. Windblown? No. Keep dry. Ooh. Look at the pixel art. I like the pixel art. It's always going to grab me, the pixel art. Life on the open road. This looks interesting. Okay. This one again. That again. Did I install this? Oh, it's it. That's it. Okay, let's go by genre. Okay, maybe I should just start with what I've got. So, what have we got? We have... Keep Driving, Ragtag Heroes, Fast Food Simulator, Ale Abbey, Bloodshed. Is that the first person shooter one? Streets of Rogue 2. I did get the sand one. Which one was this? Yeah, let's play this. This looks fun. Let's, let's kick things off with some 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 ultra violence. Now I don't know. This is going to be a little tricky because I need to. I usually set things up ahead of time with the capturing. So you have to bear with me while I get this capturing, 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 capture, capturing. Okay, it's gone full screen. That's a problem. 
Can I come out of full screen, please? That's going to actually be a big, a big deal because yeah, okay. I don't. You can't see any of this. Oh, you can see this, but it's wrong. Because the problem is, I have an ultra wide monitor, so you're only seeing like the first part of it. Can I please have an options menu? Thank you. Graphics. Da, 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 da. Uh, where, where's where's the option to windowed mode, please? Video. There we are. Excellent. Uh, windowed. Uh, Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. That's probably too loud, isn't it? There we go. There we go. Let's just turn it down here, shall we? Captor ring. Captor ring. Exactly. How's the sound balance? I cannot hear it myself, so let me know if that's too quiet or too loud. And let's get into it, shall we? So what is this again? I've forgotten already. Let's put it in my now playing bloodshed. And I'll see if I remember to do that. See, the little what's it up top now says bloodshed. Sounds seems okay. Good. Let's get into it. Play. New game. Scary skull rotating. Yes. Oh, yeah. If any of you have seen any games on this next fest malarkey that you think I should check out, then do let me go. Uh, let me go? Let me know. Objectives. Destroy a total of 15 objects. Collection. Stuff. Oh, look at all this stuff. Upgrades. Oh, I guess it's stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buy that. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. Statistics. Zero. <laughs> of course. Start mission. Oh, I get a choice. Let's see. Flynn Steel. Flint, Flynn Steel. That's funny. Or Jared. Well, we've got to go with the one with the pun. Survive for 20 minutes. Oh. I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a skull. Look at me. I'm Murray. The all powerful demonic skull. What a fine day. Oh, I've got, a, I've got a gun. Oh, wait. It's auto shooting. I think I v very quickly read something about that in the... Well, let's just go with it. Do I have ammo? Oh. That's kind of cool, actually. That helps. Okay. Uh, uh, increased attack damage by 10%. Increased magazine capacity. Increased bleed chance. Increased inflicted damage. Let's go with this one. It saves up into click. I like that. My, my my finger tendons like that. Brilliant! Brilliant. Oh, machete. Yeah, let's have that. Can, can I switch to a different weapon? Oh, yes, here we are. Ooh. An interesting choice to... Uh... He's a bit too cheerful, if you ask me. Oh, okay. This is a lot of... Uh... Let's have some armor. If you meant to have cats meowing or dogs barking, I do not hear any animal noises at all. What do you mean? In the game? Or do you mean... Or do you mean in, in, in the background? Can you not hear the game? I can turn it up. Here I come. I'm not taking this seriously. Oh, could there be? Is there even fighting? Oh, there might. Oh, that guy's got a gun. He seems. No, it's not a gun. It's a stick. Oh well. There is in fighting. Look at that. That's great. Let's just switch out to the gun. I like the gun. Ooh. Shotgun. Oh yes, please. Oh yes. Oh, yes. So it's kind of like, only aim when you're ready to fire. And always fire when you're aiming. But yeah, to be clear, I am not clicking the left mouse button or any other mouse buttons. When the cursor goes red, it fires. And I do like that. Because you're controlling when to shoot just by how you're aiming. So if I don't want to shoot, you have your you thing low, and then boom! I don't think I have an ammo can, or at least I'm not seeing it. In the game, I can hear music, I can hear you. If animal noises are meant to be in the game, then I do not hear animal noises. Okay. Good to know. 
There is a cat somewhere in this room, but uh, I think the noise gate sometimes uh, prevents him from being heard. Vengeful spirit. Summon a spectral skull that seeks out foes, la latching onto them and draining their life until they fall. I like that. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, yes. Go, Murray. Eat their souls. If they have them. They don't look like they have souls. They look like monsters. Okay. I, ooh. Purple boy. Get shot. I don't know what these things I'm picking up are, but they're probably important. Let's have a little bit of an explore. There's a lot more to this place. Ooh, there you go. Nice. There's probably all kinds of fun things in here. Maybe not. Okay. It's got a bit of a dusk vibe. You know, with the uh, low, 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 uh, low poly and low, uh, low res textures. Is this one of those survivor style games with 3D? Yeah, I guess so. Right, like a Smash TV sort of thing. That's an old reference for you. Yeah, it's it reminds me a little of um, Still Not Dead. It's a, a very very simple uh, first person shooter. Oh, there's a church. There's got to be monsters in the church, right? <laughs> yes, there are. Uh, the character just said something, but I ain't listening. Here I come! I'm so cool! I'm the player character! I mean, honestly, why would you use a machete when you have a gun? A gun can kill things from a distance. A machete can kill things from a very small distance. Unless you throw it, but then you don't have it anymore. And of course, guns require ammo, but apparently not this one! This is an infinite ammo gun, so why not? Brilliant! Let's do that. Shotgun stuff. Can I jump? Yes, I can. Hello. Were you having a private moment? Well, it's over now, because you're dead. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot those. Oh, little goblin boys, or goat boys. Where'd you come from? I haven't seen you before. You remember Smash TV? And also, hello, Keeper Deer, welcome. Um, I didn't say hello. It's a little harder to uh, to look at chat when I'm playing this, but you know, you know how it is. Ooh. Shoot me! Oh, you don't have to. Oh, I had a med kit in it with a green cross because. You have to, you can't use a red cross because the red cross will get very upset. It's actually true. You're not allowed. It's, it's so that no one will confuse. Or oh, pitchfork. Yeah, let's try a pitchfork. Oh, yes. Let's do some walking. Hey, thank you, Dr. Hilmar, for subscribing. Much appreciated. Oh, yes. It's still not as good as the shotgun, is it? Or this. I don't even know where my health bar is. What if you had your machete in a little chain so when you throw it you can pull it back to yourself? I mean, that would be fun. Definitely. Like the uh, like the lightsaber in um, Jedi Knight. Okay, I think it's time for shotgun. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ha, ha, ha. It's kind of like in some... V vertical shooters, I think, which, you know, it's like it's like having auto fire on, you know, because you don't need to keep pressing the button. What's that game? Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon doesn't have a... No, it does. What am I thinking of? There's a game that doesn't have a fire button. Vampire Survivors, right? Vampire Survivors, you don't have... You, don't, you just keep shooting. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is worry about... Um, about where you are, and the shooting takes care of itself. It's kind of like that, but also with aiming. Hey, look. He's got green stuff. Oh, okay. That green stuff hurts. I could have guessed. Ooh. 
shinies. Tell you from a distance. There we go. I like that it has a little radius that explodes on the floor. Ooh, look at that. Uh, hmm. I mean, this is fun. It's getting a bit samey. Like, they want me to do this for 20 minutes. Oh, it's... It is it is, it is, it is ramping up. I wonder if I'm not going to make it. Oh, dear. Where is my health bar? Does anyone see a health bar? I probably should have been upgrading in a specific direction. And now I think about it, this is basically Vampire Survivors in 3D, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. That's not a bad thing. It's kind of incredible how... Vampire Survivors was just this, like, I don't know if you know the story of it, but it's, like, just this guy, this, this game someone was making in his spare time, and it became this incredible success, because, for one thing, it is a good game, but also, it was lucky enough to be discovered by a big streamer, you know, because it, it was made with stock assets, you know, it broke a lot of uh, rules about, about game development. Uh, you know about what you what you can expect for a certain production value that you put into your game. This one is way off the scale, but there's always going to be outliers. You can't you can't expect your game to be an outlier by definition. You really shouldn't. <laughs> I'm sure there's some complex strategy for this that I'm not getting, as there is in Vampire Survivors. The first time you play it, it seems like the most simple game, but it gets really complex. You know, interaction of different weapons and stuff like that. Ever since everyone has been trying to make their own version. Yeah, exactly. Same with Slay the Spire. Now that so many people are making uh, roguelike card games. Uh, increases in damage. That's probably a good idea. I don't know what all these little nodules do. Are these my upgrade things? They probably are, aren't they? Just like Vampire Survivors. Why mess with the formula? It's good. All you got to do is have a really, really good idea and then get really, really lucky. Because so Sometimes I wonder, like, there must be games just as revolutionary as Vampire Survivors, but no one has found them yet. Brilliant! Brilliant! Um, because, you know, there are so many undiscovered games. I mean, that's the good thing about something like Next Fest, I suppose, is that there's an opportunity to just to, to, to get to see more stuff than you might otherwise. It's like, yeah. Guy working on Vampire Survivors focused on feel. Yes, I keep it. I, I have my webcam positioned rather unfortunately. Um, <laughs> it's it's covering up the last, the most recent uh, line of the chat. So I keep doing this. Yeah, a uh, Magnum pistol. Yeah, sure. Why not? A vacuum. Oh, it's even calling it the same damn thing. Hmm. Now, if this game is also taking other uh, cues from Vampire Survivors, there should be some like special things hidden around in the corners and the edges, maybe that are worth tracking down. Hmm. What are these? Oh, a common treasure chest. Another common treasure chest. Another common treasure chest. Oh, hello, goblin boys. They're not really goblins. They're more like goat boys. But, you know. I wish I had a grenade. That would be great. Or a rocket launcher. Or a flamethrower. I mean, this is good, but... Those are better. GTA started loves a Top Gun arcade shooter, and now... And newcomers have only ever known GTA 5. Yeah. I mean, GTA really didn't come into its own until GTA 3. That was, like, that just changed the nature of the game so much. Bringing it into 3D. 
that's a case where the extra dimension makes so much difference. Here we go. I'm a cool dude. I really, I'm not keen on the character, on the, on the, uh, on the attitude of the main character. It seems really out of step with the rest of the game. If you ask me. Like, if you're gonna go, like, grim dark like this, then you need to double down on it. You know, I guess maybe you can you can do this subversion of thing with having a chirpy character, but if you, unless you do it really well, it's just annoying. Magic World of Vampire Survivors is playtesting. Yes, that's very important. Same thing with Slay the Spire. Actually, a, a seer has startled the horde. What the hell does that mean? This horde is so startled. Um. Probably go for headshots, shouldn't I? Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Um. Oh, they're throwing shit now. Yeah, the Slay the Spire was developed with a lot of uh, data-driven um, game testing, so they would they would you know gather data from all their players and like see which cards were played most in what kind of situations and stuff like that which was really helpful in balancing the game you know because you can't just rely on what you expect because you'll be wrong it'll always surprise you why is this guy so look even even that even the fact look one of them just has an outline ooh that's the thing right this is Exactly via Vampire Survivors, but in 3D. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah, gun, gun, fist. Cool. I mean, that's not bad, but you should probably not just copy it wholesale, right? Now, you know, I'm making a a very Slay the Spire-like game, but I'm trying to make it a bit different. You know? In some in some ways, you know, shake up the formula a bit. And maybe that's a mistake. Maybe it will make it less less good. But I feel like if you're not going to iterate on it, if you're just going to copy it, then what's the point? I mean, is this game... Is, is, the only, is the only iteration of it that it's 3D and it's this aiming to shoot thing? Maybe there's more to it than that, but right now it, it really feels like they're just kind of working with these existing formula, and there's probably nothing wrong with that, right? Like they're doing a great Gianna sisters, except not even that. Maybe it's, it's that's 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 not fair. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I'm being unfair? Let's see if we can go the full 20 minutes, and then we'll play something else. It really is kind of samey at this point. Uh, and I feel like it doesn't have the same get into the zone feel that Vampire Survivors did. And that's the thing, if you're going to copy something so polished and so, well, yeah, so refined, brilliant, um, then Then you're you're competing against. Well, that's a new boy. You know that you've got to try even harder to be to be even more refined, right? Because because you're you're already fighting uphill. I mean, I, I'm, there's probably games like this already that I don't know about. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe what, it doesn't matter if it's as long as it's fun, right? It's like when when Doom came out, every first person shooter was a Doom clone. Like, is this a Doom clone? I mean, sort of, but not really. This does have a lot in common with Doom. Duty sprites. That's not all, but no, I stopped there. I'm trying to make a game with Amiga's Deluxe Paint, kind of like a Zelda style adventure. Sounds great. I, I would not want to make a game on the Amiga, honestly. It's just too limiting. But, Pac-Release says I should, because 
you can be a, a big fish in a small pond. Hey, who's this special person? And that gets you potentially more attention than trying to be a small fish in a very large pond. You know what I mean? Oh, I died. Okay. Where was my health? Where was my health? Is it below... Is it below the capture point? Because there's, like... Hmm. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Not an Amiga just using Deluxe Paint through DOSBox. But why would you... I mean, that's... What's the what's the motivation for using... You know, you could use Ace Sprite or something. And you'd have a lot more features. Destroy a total of 15 objects. Defeat 300 enemies. Unlocks things. Yeah, unlocks Uzi. Oh, an Uzi. I kind of want to play a game with the Uzi. But, ooh, new ability. Amount has been added to your abilities. Recovery. Lightning Strike. Tombstone. Uzi. Beastie area is now available. Hmm. Well, if you liked Vampire Survivors and you wanted to play it with one weapon at a time and first person, then this is it. Pixel Pro is also worth checking out for stubborn deluxe paint users. Oh, okay. Now view the bestiary. Hmm. Faction the Cult. Faction the Servants. Hmm. Cool. Grave Watcher. Well, that was fun. Let's play a different game. Arcturus Deluxe, you just got here after I finished playing the first person shooter. I'll tell you what, I'm going to play for just a couple more minutes. Just to, Let's play with the other character. Yeah, let's play with Jared. <laughs> okay. I probably won't play for 20 minutes, but we'll see some of the upgrades. <laughs> it's, uh, I should have waited. I should have waited. I should have thought about that. So, yeah, this is like Vampire Survivors, but a first person shooter. Okay. So, I'm not actually clicking left mouse. It's also shooting when I'm aiming. Lightning strike. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, Devil's Trap. Ooh. Just like Supernatural. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Now that's an interesting ability. Oh, yeah, lots of lots of stuff. Part of the motivation for making Pixel Pro some deluxe paint features that got kind of lost. Okay, that's cool. Maybe I'll check it out. Ace Sprite is just so good for making 2D art, though. Hmm, sword of shotgun. Yes, more, more, more better sword of shot. Sword of shotgun? No, sword off, not sword of. I think the uh, the starting you just start with different stuff with different characters. If that lightning bolt just gets someone behind a building, that's hilarious. Medipack. <laughs> Pay attention, mate. Yeah, this is like Vampire Survivors meets Blood. Uh, Devil's Trap. Yeah. I've got a game maker and all I need to do is draw in some sprites and maps with scratch and I can put all the static stuff. I was wanting to make my own game. It's a great it's a great thing to do. You know. It's uh My advice if it's your first game is just make some it small because it's always gonna be so much work more work than you think it is. Like I know I made the same mistake with fire weapons. I should have made some smaller, but I'm too far in now. It's always going to be a problem you don't anticipate and, and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, this is more of the same. So, let's just try a different game, shall we? So I have a few more demos to try out. What time is it? When's the break? 15 minutes. Okay, we've got enough time to check out another game. Cool. Quit the title. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like it might get a bit samey though. 
but we'll see. Okay. Back to Steam. So, what do we what do we we have keep driving, ragtag heroes, fast food. Let's do the fast food bullshit. That sounds fun. Okay, it's gone in full screen again. And it's not capturing. Okay. This is going to be annoying. Okay. It lets me access the settings right away. Good. Thank you. Okay. Windowed. Windowed. And... 19, 20, 10, 80. Good. It worked. All games should have window mode, especially when you have when you get ultra wide monitor, right? I have st stream preview stuff on the right hand side. I have chat on the left hand side. It works. Let's play single player. Save one. Go. I do wonder how trashy this is going to be. It's a demo, right? It's early access. Okay. This is, this is oh, it's got motion blur. Okay, we've got to do something about that. I hate the motion blur. Turn it off right now. Thank you. Okay, good. That's better. Open the entrance doors of the restaurant. This is this is very much a let's game it. Oh my god, look at the Okay, first thing we've got to do is see if we can get run over. Nope, there's an invisible wall. Hey, 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 help me, help me, I'm trapped, help me, help me, help me, help me. Okay, they won't help me. What about this car? Can I get in this car and go away? No? What? Oh no, don't do that. It's letting me click outside the window. That's stupid. Ultra wide is a pain in the ass for streaming. Yeah. Some guys just want to stay in full screen. Yeah, well, those, those games can sod off. Oh, I've got 10 XP for opening the door. Ultra wide, if you're able to have things in windows, it's like having. Exactly. It's like having a multi monitor setup, but without the borders. It's great. Okay. Turn on the computer. Okay. No, I want to turn on the fire extinguisher. I want to turn. And the fire alarm. Let me do things. Let me do things, game. Fine. Oh, look at that. That's nice. User welcome. The watcher. Yeah. Place your first order. What was I supposed to buy? I didn't see. Just get something. Beef patties. Burger wrapping. Wow. Is that the best we can do? Okay, great. Purchase. Why doesn't it have a dark mode? It's too bright. Okay. Let's play this game. Application is not active now. Great. Management. Application is not active now. Great. There's a weird floatiness with this mouse. I don't like it. Is that all the start menu can do? Can I go back? Can I get out? Oh, there we are. Pick up products from the goods truck. Ooh. Where we'll hide the bot. Hey, I'm rude. Honking at me. They do come quick. You can go on the floor. Go on the floor. Oh, on this floor specifically. There we are. Can I take more? Oh, do I have to take these one at a time? Surely not. Can I take. Oh my god. Ain't nobody got time for that. What the hell? This is going to be such an amazing restaurant with our burgers and burgers. <laughs> oh god, come on. Why are there so many buns? You don't need this many. Wait, and the game's crashing. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Okay, that's weird. It keeps letting me click outside the window. That's really stupid. It should capture the mouse, damn it. Jump up and down on the buns and tell them to die. Yes. Die, die, die. Put them on the floor like all the best restaurants. They're in the wrapper. It's fine. There we are. They're in the box. You know, I mean, we're just getting started. You know, we can do hygiene later. It's not that important. Okay, you can leave now. Soulless, creepy man. Off he goes, back to his evil dimension of burgers. Is he gonna drive? Is he gonna actually disappear? Can I run? Can't. Oh, crouch! Great. 
Does he just disappear? No, he actually drives off. Okay. Right. Let's do some more restauranting. You know what? Let's skip the tutorial. We ain't got time for this. Open the restaurant and wait for your first customer. Let's just let's just Yeah, how do we open? How do we open? Like this? There we are. I press the button. Cheese chicken, always fresh, delicious, farm-owned quality, original taste, spicy salad, mushroom, grilled cold beverages, welcoming and friendly service. Avocado, pickles, pepper, always nice fries, premium coffee, family and friends, favour sauce burger. You can say that again. What's the point of having a fire alarm if I can't pull it for no reason? Mmm, milk frothing jug. That can go there. That's the right place for that. Oh, it's a customer. Hello. Hello. You spoke without opening your mouth. Let's see. Your customer... The order is... Wait. Did I just cancel your order? Are you waiting for your food? Hey, where did you come from? I didn't see you come... Are you paying customer? You're just standing here, sitting here, pretending to talk. Okay, fine. I'll cook your food. From the floor. Open these. Ooh. Yep, good. Alright. Oh, there. There we go. So, here's your bun. Oh, they won't let me put it down. Hey, there's another customer. God damn it. Cool. Okay, put the bun down. You probably want to catch up, right? Hmm. Should have read the tutorial. French fries, fry basket. How do I cook a burger? Burger. Burger wrapping papers. Why do you need to wrap it? There. Piece of a cow. How do I take... Open box. There we are. Aha. Uh -huh. Does it cook on here? There we go. No, that's not a cooking thing. What's that? Waste oil can? Where's the grill? Oh, there it is. Hello. Hello. I'm busy. Can't you see I'm the only fucking purple person working here? Fine, you can have a burger. Okay, how do I... This is not the grill. That's the side of the grill. There we are. Put a patty... Put in a patty container. Oh, alright. What? Let me put it down. What? There. Okay, there we are. Uh, no. Pick up the damn thing. Oh, right. Right click. Okay. Why do we need to do it like that? What? What do you want? You want a burger with two patties. Okay. Let's flip them, shall we? Top doneness. Bottom doneness. Oh, my bottom is so doneness. <laughs> this was in source. You could kick them across the floor. Yeah. That would be great. We need physics. How do I flip it? Do I have to wait for it to be completely done before it will let me flip it? Where does it say how to flip it? Oh, right. There we are. There we go. Click, right click, down. 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 This is just like work. This is so fucking tedious. Okay. Hi there. Yes. Right, burger bun. Wait. Let's, let's put them on the... Oh, okay. Use a spatula. I, I didn't mean to put down the spatula. How do I put it in... Well, this one isn't cook cooked on the bottom. Which one's cooked on the bottom? This one. Okay. Put it in the burger. Doesn't work. Hello? What? Fuck off. <laughs> um... Burger patty trays. I'm gonna put this down. Right, there we are. Okay, this is how we do it. Yeah, these are all burnt, so it sucks to be you. There we go. Dip, dip, dip. I'm a great restaurant owner. This is gonna be the best restaurant in the world. Why can I not? I should have watched hey. the tutorial. Ah, there we are. Put it, put it on the burger. Why can't you put it on the burger? Ugh. Oh. Sir, this is not an official fast food experience. We need at least one Karen at any one time. Ask 
Oh, yeah. Where's all the complaints? Like, I haven't served a single cut. Hey, they've just left. They've just left. They got sick of waiting. Okay, that's fine. That's a problem that takes care of itself, isn't it? They already paid. <laughs> that's their problem. Let's put some ketchup on it. How do we... How do I even... Hello. Hello. I really, I really... Sh ingredients containers. Is that what I need to do? This is so regimented. Why, do, why can't I just... Just... It's not very intuitive. I should have done a tutorial, but... No. Who, who's got time for that? This is next fest. Not later on fest. This is in Bethesda's end. You could leave the building, come back, and all the bread rolls and immediately launch themselves all over the place. I wish it was like that. Yes. Um, I'm at a Hello. loss. Any ideas? Burger bun top. Rotate. I can rotate it. What's the point of that? Hmm. Well, this game is very hard. <laughs> Let's just have a look around. Oh, I've been here already, yeah. Let's keep that closed. <sighs> mm. It's very exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take hey. your money. Hey. Um, can, can anyone help me? Can you... Does anyone know how to assemble a burger? Does anyone know? No? Okay. <laughs> For God's sake. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna snooze the ads. Because I'll keep I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying. Oh what's all this? Oh that's oh. a spare register. Oh no, I lost I lost fifty popularity. Oh no. I'm so unpopular hey. now. Put the burger on a bottom pan. Put the burger on the bottom bun. Oh, it's not working. Like, what do I, what do I click on? Like, there's no. I can put it down, but then I move over the burger bun bottom, and it doesn't let me. Do I need to put this on? I can't put that on there. Do I put this in there? No. Oh, I know. I need to. I probably need to get the wrapper, don't I? The burger bun wrapper. I should have done the tutorial. Why did you tell me not to do the tutorial? It's all your fault, someone else. Where's my... Where's the wrappers? There was another box. Wasn't there? Where's that? Where the, there it is. Right. Put. Open Hello. box. There we are. Right. We're getting somewhere. Probably. Maybe. There we are. Okay, now it's making sense. There we go. Oop, close it. Uh, wrap burger. Take. There you go. All right. Who, who's, who's, who's having a burger? Are you having a burger? Put it in a food tray. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Where's the food tray? Is that this? That's a burger patty tray. Burger patty container. Ingredient containers. Can't I just fucking give it to him? Where's the bloody bleeding... Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, I see. you got to serve it up on these stupid things. Here. Take this. Take it. Why do I... This is like a McDonald's. It's not table service. Here. Uh. What? Oh, it's because I don't... It's because I... Is it because of the... Well, you don't want it? Fine, I'll give it to someone else. Is it cold? It's because it's burnt? Uh. Wow. Uh. One of you disappears and one of you gets up. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm doing so badly. Uh. Ugh. Uh. Ugh. Look, this is a hard job, okay? Man. I really fucked it up. <laughs> Judging by the burnt burgers and keeping them in waiting seems seeming clueless. This is like every fast food place I've been to. They don't seem to know how to do anything either. I would say you're doing perfectly. Thank you. Thank you. And it's 9pm now. Well, that was a very successful first day, I think. 
Close, cl just close. There. End the day. I have to come over to my car to end the day. This is where I just drive myself into tr into traffic. Press and hold. End of day report. Total customers thirteen. Order received thirteen. Level plus zero. Experience plus zero. Popularity minus nine hundred. Profit one minus one hundred and thirty. Balance eight hundred and seventy. Presenting the burger of disdain. I would immediately be suspicious of the restaurant as soon as I see the computer running XP in the back. Yeah. Amazing. You still use Windows XP laptops? Oh wow. Is that safe? Look, are they disconnected from the from the um from the internet? Point of McDonald's is just not be terrible. Doesn't have to be good, just not make you ill. Yeah. Right, let's try that again. I bet I can do better this time now that I know the basic functionality. But, oh, and the game crashed. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Did it crash? No, I just clicked out of it. Okay, never mind. I clicked out of it because let's 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 preempt things here, shall we? Let's let's preempt things. Maybe I should have some. Have I got any more burger patties? I don't have any more, do I? Yeah, I better order some. No signal. What do you mean no signal? Oh, turn the computer on. I didn't turn it off. Who turned off my computer? I left it on all night like an irresponsible wanker. Fine, you can have a burger. As soon as the, as soon as the delivery truck comes here, I'll make your burger. <laughs> Alright, I've got to actually order. Yeah, okay. Let's order something. Let's order more frozen beef patties. A slot of them. Level 4 required. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Purchase. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. Oh, and I clicked outside the window again. That's very good. Oh, why is it like this? Capture the mouse, please. Okay. Once I installed Windows XP and I forgot how the network was going to hit with the blaster worm within a minute. Oh my god, wow. Yeah, that ain't safe. Hello? Hello? You have great hair. Go sit down. <laughs> okay. Where's my delivery? Here it is. Alright, you can just stay right there because I don't need you right away. I don't need you. Is he gonna leave if I don't if I don't unpack everything? I don't give a shit. Okay, open the box. Do the thing. All right, I have to put it in this first, and then I take them out one by one and put them on the thing. Yeah, let's try to make not burnt, not cold burgers this time. Can I have at least one satisfied customer? I'll call that a win. Okay, top deadness. You don't even have to turn it on. It's just always on. This thing has been running all night. I need to get an XP laptop with a SCSI port so I can get... Oh. Okay. Flip. Do. Flip. Do. Flip. Do. Flip. Flip. I haven't played many of these, like... Restaurant simulator type things. Is this actually good? Is this a is this good? Is it? Hello. This is a good game. I don't know. Like, is this the is this the expected experience? That it's just supposed to be completely tedious and annoying. Hey. You said hey. You didn't say hello. You're an individual. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. This goes on there. This goes on there. This goes on there. God, life is relentless. They keep. Yeah, that's probably alright, isn't it? Better be overdone than underdone, right? Oh, I can't. Hang on. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't you see I'm busy? I need some staff. Like, you can't expect me to run this restaurant on my own. It's crazy talk. Yeah, these ones are a little burnt. They'll go to the, the ugliest customers. That's fair, isn't it? Okay, now, wrapper, put down wrapper, bun, put down bun, burger, put down burger, clothes, do, 
wrap, take, uh, tray, tray, <sighs> there. Now, can I even see what they wanted? Oh! -ho! Oh -ho! <laughs> he was happy about that. Yes. See? I'm doing all right Whoa. now. All it takes is just not taking 15 minutes to... to okay, I need a bun. Mmm, unrefrigerated burger patties, yes. Oh, look, I can put it right on there. Oh, this is gaming. This is ultimate gaming right here. Like, you need a tray for this one item. Okay. Yeah, you have this. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes! Hello? Hello! Okay, I'm gonna snooze the ad again. Because I want to finish this bullshit. I want to finish one good day. In this stupid game. Okay. Burger. Paper. Where's the buns? Can I pick up the whole thing? There we are. That's better. You know, maybe I should I should start doing this more smartly. Like have a bunch Hello? laid out ready to go. Yeah. Like that. Okay. You go. You go. Burger powers activate. I'm the best chef in the world. I can put burger patties on burger buns from a from the other side of the room. Oh, that burger's upside down, but who cares? It's probably got two tops on it. <laughs> or two bottoms. Wrap, 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 wrap. Oh yeah, trays. Let's get all these trays out. Good. Hello. Grab the burger. Put the burger on the tray. Grab the burger. Put the burger on the tray. Grab the burger. Put the burger on the tray. Now let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh no, you didn't like it. Oh, why not? Was it because I was, took too long? Here, you've been watching your friend eat for ages. Do you want to have this? You, you don't care. You're just here just to watch, aren't you, you freak? Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's the best part of the game. Whoops. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Sad, lonely person on your own? <laughs> That's all you want, isn't it? You want sustenance. Okay. Yes. Hello? Uh, yes. Hello. Yes. Good. Okay, these are probably cold by now. But who cares? These people don't deserve any better. Grab a bun. Right, I've got to put it... Ugh. This is so tedious. So tedious. Does anyone like these games? What is the point of this shit? This is ridiculous. Like, I, I, in like... Cooking simulator, you can at least set things on fire. Hey. Hey. Oh, right, I forgot there's one of these. You can... Someone can have this. There we go. Uh. Why didn't you like it? What the hell? Is it because they got the wrong order? Is it because some of you want two patties? How am I supposed to remember that? It doesn't say at all. I'm sure if I read it, if I did the tutorial, I'd know. But who, who's got time for that? Pick it up with my bare hands. Whoops. No, wrap it up. Hello. Hello. I hope you bastards are taking your trays back like good customers. People who just leave shit. You know. So there's clearly a bin to take things to. I'm doing my part excellently. I wish you'd do yours. Wow, she really wants that burger. I don't know why there's such a disparate response. Okay, this guy also just wants to watch. Fine. Oh. <laughs> a good game. Based on if you can slap the customers around. Yeah, let's see. Can I, can I like, just put mustard in your face? Yeah, let's see how if I can mess with the customers. That's a great idea. Can I mess with you? Can I put this on your head? Can I get right in your face? Oh, I can get inside his head. Look at that. Look at that. We can see inside his head. That's terrifying. OK. 
Okay. There doesn't seem to be a lot of ways to screw with people, unfortunately. I mean, what's the point of a game like this if you can't mess people up? Burger, patty, thingy, cake. Well, this has been fun, but it hasn't made me... Oh, is, is she annoyed? Okay. Yeah, one of you can have this. I don't know which one. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, is that enough? Can I close the restaurant now? What time is it? It's 9pm. You guys can all fuck off. There. Get the fuck out. Take your stupid hair with you. Hey, hey, the restaurant's closed. Get the fuck out. The restaurant's closed. I want to go to bed. Leave me alone. I'm going to stand here until you leave. I always take my fast food trays back. People who leave stuff on the table should be scorned and humiliated. Yes. Scorn. Fresh from the floor. Yes. <laughs> it's a dad game. Pretend you have a job from the old days before the world was on fire. Uh, the world was on fire quite a bit back then. People just remember it nicely because they were privileged. I'm only here for the suffering. I wouldn't play a game based on a job I try to avoid by playing games that don't involve tasks from dead-end jobs. Yeah, I don't understand the appeal of a game like this, honestly. Unless you can mess things up and be hilarious. Like, seriously, it's... Yeah, go. Go. Your friend had the decency to instantly vanish. Hey, they left money on the table. Oh, man. They've been leaving money on the table. And they've been leaving their trays, you selfish fuckers. Money. This one left a burger. Can I just eat that? Why'd you leave your burger? So they don't actually pay me until 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 afterwards. Like it's a McDonald's, but you pay afterwards. I've never seen that kind of trust in a McDonald's. Like, can I put the mayonnaise outside? No, it won't let you do stupid shit. It's annoying. Can I take it home with me? Oh well. Does this had some creativity to it. Yeah, but it doesn't, does it? Pull out the shotgun and see how fast they run. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we can do something stupid. Yeah. Amazing. I cannot have ice without a cup. I don't have a cup. I, so I can't have ice without a cup, but I can do this. Is this going to overflow if I keep doing it? Probably not. You play mayonnaise like a flute. I bet you can. No coffee beans. Hey, look at that. We've got steam. Ice cream. The ice cream doesn't work. But I can make the steam happen. Oh yeah, we can we can mess these about. French fries. There's not even any ketchup in these things. What's this? Is there an NT32 behind this thing? Why is this here? weird. Okay. Well. That was mildly amusing, but I don't think I'll play this anymore. There's just not a lot to it. You know, it's just kind of there. It's just very bare bones. Let's see how well I did. Why can't I leave? Why can't I leave? Okay, the ad's going to start in 15 seconds anyway. Open and close. <laughs> okay, well, the ad's starting, so I'm leaving. Alright, next game is... Wait, it's not showing. Okay, one second. It's not capturing the window. <laughs> I couldn't tell because I was in the other scene. Uh, okay, how do I do this? Bear with me. Bear with me, please. Just need to... Uh, to make it do it. Capture specific window. It's not. There we go. Ragtag demo. Did that work? Yes. Wait. Yes. Yes, it did. I think so. Yes. Okay, good. Right. So this is the um, roguelike card game thing. So let's try it. Standard. Yes. Slot one. They're so ragtag, these heroes. Try to stop the evil wizard of Mad Rock. Yes, we've heard it all before. Oh, look, it's exactly Slay the Spire. Yes. <laughs> Come on, guys. Do something different. Play cards from your hand. Defeat enemies. Cards cost energy to play. When you're out of energy, end your turn. Start, start reaching your new cards and energies for your field. Exactly like Slay the Spire. 
Play defensive cards to gain shield when your enemy is planning to attack you. Shield does not wear off between turns and is only reduced by attacks. That's slightly different to Slay the Spire. Yes, I'd like it. You can see the enemy's intent above them. Ah, exactly like Slay the Spire. If the plan to attack, make sure to gain some shield. Yeah. Okay. Battle start. Strike. Deal 8 damage. Stun 1. Melee. Monsters with 0 less initiative. Skiff for turn. Okay. Safeguard. Switch places with another hero. Okay. Okay. So we have multiple heroes. That's different. Good. Move to the target's lane and deal 14 damage. Yeah, why not? Okay. That was not a great animation. But it's fine. Yeah. Okay. He's got one hit point. And he's going to do 7 damage. Oh no. Is Folgers an American brand of coffee? I always hear good things about it. What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why are we talking about coffee? Folgers? Where's Folgers? I'm always so lost. People say things and I have no idea what they're talking about. And I, I, I'm sure it's me. Okay, gain four strength. Exactly like for this fire. Uh, at the end of your turn, gain three shield. Yeah. Fine. I'm not trying to shit on this game, but like... There's so many, so many games that are just like like what was that game? For the warp, it just it just exactly did slay the spire, you know. But in space, as the squire ventures through the so on and so forth, the acolyte blah blah. I don't have time. Okay, just pick one. Only attack targets and enemies in your lane. Okay, good. This is different. Range attacks target enemies in other lanes. Good. Flanking. If a hero's lane is empty, their melee attacks. Okay, fine. It's doing enough differently. That's good. Turn order to turn by initiative. Play cards will stand to temporarily decrease initiative. That's also, that's also an innovation. Oh yes. Position acolyte. Position scoundrel. Position squire. Okay. Are we rebel scum? We have a scoundrel. So teleport. We'll place another hero, both gain two shield. Nice. Okay. Positioning matters. This is this is a bit innovative. I like it. Double damage if the target is not in your lane. Okay, so this one's gonna do 15 damage. So maybe we should teleport and swap with someone with more health. And also get some shield. Yeah, good idea. Oh, initiative, right. So is this gonna gonna go second? Hmm, okay. This is already starting to develop some interesting strategy. Magic push. Moving an enemy into random open slot in a different lane. Okay, they're throwing complexity at you a lot right away, and I don't mind that. That's fine. Because quite often it's just too simple too early on. Let's just start doing shit. Um We'll push this one into a random lane. Okay. Uh, double damage if your target is ranged. Cool. Okay, so then he gets a turn. Ah, the initiative order's here on the left. That's good. Okay, so we all get a turn before they do. Quick shot. Six damage, six damage, six damage, six damage. Okay. Let's just take out you. damage you. It's very cute. Look at these little skeletons. Because when you're on break, I went and made a cup of coffee. It's an economy brand. Apparently, like Folgers, it is a comedy and totally loved by everyone. Not a coffee person, really. I have I have drunk coffee in the past, but usually only for the caffeine, caffeine effects, never for the taste. Uh, swap places with here again. Three shield. Shield wall. Yeah, do that. Um, strike. Oof. Strike again. Ah, I stunned him because he went down to zero initiative. Very good. Okay. This has some great strategy going on. I like this. Yeah. Like, this, this can get very complicated very quickly, and that's good. Okay. Um... Move the enemy to it. Okay. Let's do this one. Oh, off you go. Nice. 
Very good. Cool. I mainly drink tea, but it's getting later and I can't think of anything more stupid than overdosing on caffeine right before bed. Yes. However, if you have ADHD, then... Uh, well, for people who have ADHD, apparently their brains respond differently to caffeine. If you, if you, if you drink caffeine before bed and it actually makes you tired, you may have ADHD. I'm not a doctor. That's just something I've heard and something I know from someone I know who has ADHD. Deal 3 damage apply to weak. Non magic attack can only cause 50 damage. 5% damage. That's a good idea. Yeah, now you're losing less damage. Apply to vulnerable. Takes 50% more damage from non magic attacks. Interesting, there's a definite there's the delineation between magic. Okay, let's actually reduce this guy's initiative to zero so he doesn't get to attack. There we go. Yeah. You've been looking at my medical records? No, nope, it's just an inference. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we're going to, we're controlling this guy. Um, we could probably just attack. Yeah. Save God. Switch place another hero against three shield. Let's swap with you then. There we go. Okay, are they going to get to attack? Yeah, they did. Okay, and I blocked it. Great. Uh, right. I can probably just kill you now. There we go. Uh, attack you. Oh dear. Uh, I'll swap with you. Let's gain some shield. Good. Very nice. Okay, and then quick shot. Quick shot. Quick shot. Okay, this fight's quite easy because it's the first one. Well, second one. But I can imagine this getting quite complex. Hey! Mmm. Stun 6 range. That's good. Store allies. 6 damage and 6 burning to the first enemy in each lane. Let's get the stun one. I like stunning. Rapid fire deal for six damage range. What's rapid about it? Exhaust. Okay. The the cap the, the little thing that explains what exhaust does, it says exhaust this card when played. What does that mean? Well, I know what it means because I've played Slay the Spire, but it means it is no longer in your deck for the rest of this battle. That's what you should say. Because not everyone who's played this is gonna have played Slay the Spire. I mean, maybe they have, but you know. Poison uh yeah, let's get that one. Oh, it's a zero cost. That's good. Stabbing. Three times two melee. Momentary power. Okay, that's that's it. This is exactly a Slay the Spire card. This is flex. I think it's just... Yeah, except it's five strength instead of three. But come on. You, you've copied a card precisely. <laughs> Six damage to every enemy in melee range. Okay, that, that could be good if we can get multiple stacked in the same area. Okay. I don't, I don't hate it, right? I mean, it's, it's. I do actually like it. I completely ignored that because I'm rushing. Ooh, look at the slimes. They're really creepy. They've got creepy eyes. It's the eyelids that make that creepy. Position acolyte. You can go there. Uh, scoundrel can go there. You can go there. Is this early access? Feels like I'm missing some polish. It probably is. Yes. I think almost all these games are early access. Um. Okay. Let's stun you. Oh, look at it. That's, mm, yeah. That's weird. Okay. Teleport. No. Defend. Six damage. Let's just defend. Oh, I can choose who I'm defending. Not enough energy. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's early access. Uh, sweep. Deal four damage applied to vulnerable. Okay, that's all. What's brave? Gain three actions this turn. Pass next turn. Ooh, that's really cool. Gain one action for this combat. One max action for this combat in current turn. I guess I can't do it because I've used my actions. That's cool. Okay. Move to an enemy's lane and deal 14 damage. That's pretty good. Let's do that. 
and then we can strike. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the only one we can damage is that one. It's fine. Oh no. I'm getting hurt. Let's see. Double damage. Not in your lane. Okay. Need to do four more damage. Um, there we go. Oh, he's, he's, poor thing. Felt bad. Disarm. Play too weak. Um, yeah, let's make this one weaker. Okay. Stun it a bit. I'm not going to get its initiative down any more than that. It's going to go after. Oh, I might be able to. I don't know. Uh, switch places. Yes. Change places. Oh, yeah, we can stun you. There we go. Cleave. No, that's not, that's not any more useful. So if you can like move move them all into one lane and then cleave, you can do it. You can hit them all at once. Yes, Gander. Okay, come on, you can come up. We have Kitty. Okay. Now behave yourself. Don't hurt me, for I am soft and squishy. But you're also soft and squishy. Uh, yeah. So if I push this one, oh, that didn't go where I hoped. Um. Hmm, yes. You go there, and then you can... Oh, wait, that was stupid. Um, go go there. And then, oh, okay, never mind. Wait, I'll do this, because I don't need to go again. So we'll probably kill this in the next, next turn. Uh, rapid fire. Boop. Boop. And boop. There we go. Nice. Cat! Yes, indeed. I, st I still need to do something with the camera so you can actually see him without me having to do this. Yeah. Oh, poor baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Enemy suffers marked one. Draw a card. Ranged. Hmm. That's good. The hero deals damage to this enemy. The hero in its lane gets two shield. Gain shield equal to another hero's shield. That's synergy. That's what we call synergy, my friends. Let's try that one. Catalyst arrow. The enemy is poison. It deal plus six damage. Hmm. Deal ten damage to all enemies in a target lane ranged. Let's try that. Yeah. Deal ten damage to our card. Spark shield. Whenever you use your lot, lose your lost shield, gain spark one. Whenever you spend it, you refill it from sparks. Oh. Gain ten shield and taunt two. Unit becomes the exclusive melee target for all opponents. Huh. How does that work? Let's try it. Okay, we have a boss, or a mini boss. This actually might be challenging now. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big bear with two axes. He's such a big bear. He's such a cute little monster with big axes. Okay, Acolyte, uh, Scoundrel, Squire. Which lane are you in? Are you, li you in the middle lane? Okay. Uh, he's got initiative of eight, but we might be able to get that down with a bit of a halt. Uh, magic push. Let's just, oops. Let's just do this. He's going to do 21 damage, though. Jeez. Okay. Quick shot. Stun you. Do another one, and you'll be fully stunned. There we go. Rapid fire. Ooh, ugh. Gandalf, why don't you put your nose on my fucking hand? It's, it's gross. It's wet. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
Okay, turn around then. Come this way. Stupid cat. <laughs> you gonna meow for the folks at home? Do a meow, go on. He only meows when he's upset and he's fine being on me, so. Cleave, not useful. Lure in. Let's see what this does. Doesn't do anything. Okay. He's still skipping his turn. Okay, he's got a turn now. Double damage. Double damage. Let's defend you. Very nice. Uh, flurry. Ten damage to all enemies. Okay, four damage. Let's make him vulnerable first. And that. No, Gandalf, you can't get on the desk. You're not allowed. Because you'll, you'll get on my keyboard and you'll start pressing buttons and then who knows what will happen. Oh, he hit. He hit not people in his lane. Didn't see that coming. Even though it would have told me. Oh, it does four da 14 damage to each. Okay. Okay, then. Still think we can do this. Ow, ow, Gandalf, oh, why do you do this? Uh, it's not really going to help. Oh, uh, okay, ah, clone shield, yes. I can do this now. Get 16 shield, that's good, isn't it? Uh, push? This, that doesn't really make much difference. Except that this does more damage now. Hmm. These kind of games are probably quite difficult to watch because it's not. It's not super. I don't know. Is this engaging? The, watching these kind of games? Like. I would watch games like this, but I'm weird, so who knows? Let's do some more of that. Okay. Should be in the bag. Shield wall, tiger leap. Yeah, it's in the bag. Get enough he's hungry? No, I've just fed him. I fed him during the break. Uh, he just wanted to sit on me. There we go. Victory! Poison potion. Do not drink. Oh, deal 26 magic damage. Your hand size is reduced by one for the restless fight. Judgment day. If any foes have 10 or less HP, reduce their HP to zero. Start each turn with one plus card in hand. Let's do the 26 damage. That sounds amazing. Hey, right, Alain. It still says No Man's Sky. I swear I fixed that. That is so stupid. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I didn't click. I didn't click done. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear, I went an hour and forty minutes with the wrong, the wrong thing on. Oh. that's that's that's. I'm such a pro streamer. I'm so good. I'm so amazing. Hello, Ireland. How's it going? I'm doing next fest demos. Whenever you manually discard a card, gain four shield. Uh, pick a card to discard, gain, gain one dodge. Deal eight damage, fatal, if it does killing blow. Uh, let's do the dodge. Bit dodgy. Deal 14 damage, condition is played after a skill. Hmm. Whenever you play an attack card, lose all your shield, gain retaliation. Hmm. Let's do precision strike. Ooh, ooh, what's going on? You may pick one relic. Wizard hat, draw one additional card. Wooden bow, start your first time with one extra energy. Uh, let's get the wizard hat. I mean, just because it's a wizard hat, you know? Okay. Next thingy, it's a question mark. Ooh. You cannot believe it, a hidden golden wishing well. You just found it, between some rocks. As you approach, a small, fairly aggressive 
A small fairy aggressively circles around your heroes' heads. Heroes, listen! You have to leave this place. But the gold, ignore her. Yeah, gain 120 gold co coins. Okay, next fight. Ragtag heroes. Oh my god, it's the birds! It's so many birds. Okay, battle start. Oh, they've got flight. Intends to take off. Oh, flying high. Take only half damage when flying. Exactly like Slay the Spire. Again. Okay, it's fine. Uh, 26 damage. Hit four times to remove. Yeah. It's, they're not even... I mean, there is innovation, but like seriously, it's exactly the same. It's even the same flavor. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's push this one. Okay, great. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, defend. Let's get defend yourself. Da, da, da. Okay. Uh, these things have a lot of initiative. It's I'm not going to be able to take it down. Ah, flying high wears off. Very good. Do, do, do. Uh, mm. Now, if I can swap with him, I can do cleave, but I can't swap with him. Okay. Uh, get some shield. Get some more shield. Da, da, da. Oh, he moved. Oh dear, this guy's nearly dead. Uh, that's a problem. Hmm. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, oh no. Uh, wait, who's going next? So, that one's going next. So, then you, then you. Hit this one, the bald eagle, isn't. And it's only going to do a buff, so it's not going to actually hit this guy. But this one is doing a melee attack. This one's doing a debuff. Okay, so this guy isn't taking damage this turn. So. Let's just... Wait, that's not the most effective thing to do. Give you some shield. Yeah, let's do that. You took damage from taking the fairy gold. Yes! But it was worth it for money. It's always worth it. You need money. Probably, because there's a shop coming up. And that's, that's exciting. I love shopping in video games. More than in real life, in fact. Because you can get more interesting things. Um... Hmm... Yes, let's apply some vulnerable. Oh wait, that's melee. How about you then? What? Not a valid target. What? Who am I? Oh, I'm targeting this guy. Right. Okay. Apply too weak. Let's weaken this guy. That's a good idea. There we go. Now you're not flying. Oh, you're just hovering. Yeah. Uh. Lure in. Now, there's what? Gain 10 shield and taunt too. No one got lured. There's an exclusive melee target for all opponents stack. But you can only melee attack in your same lane, right? So what does that do? If it was ranged attacks, that would make sense. Hmm. Switch places with another hero. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Do. Um, right. Okay, who's going next? You're going next. And all the three characters, then this guy. Okay. Hmm. Gonna teleport with you. And then maybe push you away? There we are, now he's not going to be in lane. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to get hurt a lot, so, oh dear. Uh, I haven't thought this through. So this got quite complicated quite uh, quite quickly. Um, Flurry. Ah! 10 damage to all enemies in the lane. There we go. I think I can kill this one. But they're not 
They're not going to attack. They're just doing the. F that one's doing a debuff, and this one's flying. So that's fine. How does God gain one dodge? Okay, yeah, pick that one. The one that we can pick. Uh, Tiger leap. Yeah. There we go. One's down. Hmm. Weak wears off. Flying high. Deal 26 damage. Oh, yes. Let's do that. It'll only do half, but still. Bolt. There we go. Okay. Now, if we can kill this thing in two turns, which we can't, never mind. I think my ranger scoundrel guy is going to survive, though. These things have really high initiative. That's this number here in the lightning bolt. So it's really hard to get, get them to limit, skip their turns. Uh, let's move to your lane. Yeah. There we go. Strike. I said strike. No, I said strike. Is it going to have a go? Or is it just going to... Shield. Oh, how? Hmm. They weren't attacking in the same range, in the same row. Okay, but never mind. We're all alive. I wonder what happens if you lose one hero. Yay! Frost potion. Oh, I forgot about potions. Okay, what do we want? Ah, oh, prototype. <laughs> <laughs> There's no beta work in progress. <laughs> yeah, gain five seal, draw a card. That's good. Deal eight damage when they die. The hero that killed them gains one spark. Okay, give them us three strength and three marks. Let's get the magic shield. Card for scoundrel. When you draw a card, gain two shield, ten damage. From whenever you meant. Let's do the flurry again. In a fire. Suffer so full burning. Dangerous dance. Deal eight damage. Apply vulnerable one and draw as many cards as that enemy has vulnerable. Okay. Six damage against six melee. Yeah, let's do that one. All right, shop time. Shop time. Shop time. Oh, look at all this stuff we can buy. Card removal. Mm. Oh, spatial aptitude. In the left lane, gain eight. I wish the tooltips wouldn't cover up the words I'm trying to read. Uh, else, what's a horseshoe do? You heal twice as much in rest sites. If you move, gain one spark. Increase hand size. Candle, apple. The start of each round, heal for one. Hmm. Start of each turn, gain one extra energy. Upgrade two scales. Mm -hmm. How much money do I have? What does it say? Top left. Okay. Fatal relieve. If you kill an enemy, heal for three. That's pretty good. When you play a card, deal four damage to a random target. Ooh. This turn, right. Pick one card to discard. Play one vulnerable. Maybe you lose your lost shield, gain spark. It's quite complicated. Ooh, Cursed Blade. I like the flavor of that. That's really cool. Deal 16 damage when he draws card, lose 3 HP. That's risky. Never let him move, deal 4 magic damage to them. 7 magic damage to the target, not in your aim. Look at the top card of your draw pile, you may discard it. Mm, magic Missile. Yeah, I like that. Poison Weapon. Mm, let's do the wide open. So the shield of all your heroes to your shield, lose all sealed. That's pretty good. We can take the damage. We're a squire. How much more money have I got left? Let's get this one, because I'm upgrading two skills. Okay, I didn't even get a chance to look at that, but that's fine. Let's move on to another fight. I bet we can get to the boss in this before we run out of time. Oh, piggies! Look at the piggies! Oh, my God! 
Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I might die though, actually, before I reach the boss. Never mind. 26 damage. Uh, mm, okay, Piggy goes last, so... I can actually make you s s not go. Don't have your go. There we are. Need fire shield, draw a card, magic push. Let's just do this. You. Okay. So these guys don't have a lot of initiative, so we can really. Uh... Wait. Quick shot. Yes. We can really. Um... Oh, yes, let's look at it. do that first. Down your initiative. 10 damage to. Oh, yes. Very good. That's no good right now. Uh, okay, this. If I play a, sh play a skill first, then I can play Precision Strike. Very good. So the shield of all heroes to yours. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. That's a net gain of of fifty of a hundred percent shield. Oh, I got hurt though. But you can take it. Oh, he did a spin. <laughs> Magic missile. Yes. Let's do this. Zoom. Oh, magic push. Do we want that one? Yes. Probably. Yay! Um, let's get some shield going. Good. Okay, when do you have your go? Very soon. Now does that? It actually changes turn order. If you look on the left when I do this, it pushes. Well, it sometimes pushes them down in turn order. That's re oops. Looked outside the window. That's really good. Yeah, I know I shit on this game. shit on this game a little bit for being very derivative of Slay the Spire, but it really is doing something different with it. Um, different enough. Like it's a bit blatant in how it's ripping ripping it off, but it makes me feel less bad about ripping off Slay the Spire with fire or weapons. So you know, <laughs> funny. Yes. Okay, let's get some shield. Uh, shield equal to, no, yeah, gain equal to, yeah, that's better. Quick shot, zoop. Should be fine to reach the boss. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, da, da, da. We need to move. To, I can't hit anyone because because it's melee. I guess I can just do that. And that. So I can't. There's no one to hit. Oh, I can hit you. What? Oh, I've misunderstood how ranged stuff and melee works. Never mind. <laughs> Typical. Typical learning a game. Oh, he died with his eyes open. So sad. The balancing of, am I ripping it off or just using genre standards? Exactly. All first-person shooters are Doom clones. All heroes gain 4 HP. That sounds like a good card. I like that. Uh, yeah, because gaming is an iterative medium, you know? Which is such a pompous thing to say, but it's true. <laughs> gain 14 shield if I have no shield. Yes. Let's take that one. Cool. Okay, rest site. Uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, let's gain some HP. Same for you. You don't need HP so much. Guard. Oh, oh, one of them has to guard. That's really interesting. Okay, let's fight the boss. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy with a big axe and nasty big horns. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, uh, zoop and zoop. Okay. You're gonna hit the whole row anyway, aren't you? <laughs> Prepare to die! Oh, he's got a big shield! Oh! What's. He's got 99 shield! Okay, I think this is where we die. Hmm! Okay. Let's just 
start dealing some damage for what it's worth. Boom. Let's give you some shield. Oof. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Blurry. Clang. because that's a vulnerable attack. Do, 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 do. Block, yes. There's a strike. Strike. Okay. When's his turn? Next. Uh, I think. It's after the wizard. Okay. Magic missile. Flying shield. Yes, we do want that. Okay. I can stun you and that will slow you down. There, your turn is later. That's great. I like that. Mm. Keep stunning him. Maybe I won't get a turn at all. Uh, if I could just click on him properly. There we go. Should have done that first. Okay. That shield wall you hear is to your shield, lose your shield. That's good. Move to target lane and deal 14 damage. Yeah, 14 damage sounds good. And a bit of block. Okay, 25 damage incoming. Oof! Tricky. Oh my god, he had another go! Why did he get two goes? Oh my god, my acolyte's dead. I'm gonna die. This is bullshit. Oh my god. This is really, really bad. I think I'm actually dead now. Uh, let's do this. Brave. Get more, more, more goes. I should have done this first. Never mind. Oh. Yeah. It really matters the order that you play your cards in. Who'd have thought? Okay, this is where I die. Because nothing I do is going to matter at this point. Oh, it's not really worth it. I'll do this too. Not gonna matter. Ah! Click on him. Okay, now we both die. Yup. Smack. Oh, he only hit me! He only hit one of them. Okay, well, soon we do. Okay, now we die. Okay. <laughs> cool. Tutorial completed. Here unlocks. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Your ragtag hero has defeated Madrox's henchmen and made it to his realm. Madrox's keep lies ahead. Will you be able to get there in time? What challenge? I didn't defeat anyone. I'd, I'd lost. Wish list now to find the full game. Yeah. That's, that's a good game. I like that. I like it. Okay. Boop. Quick game. Alright. The question is, do we play another one or do I finish? Because it's already 8 o'clock. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at a text I just got. Hang on. Okay. What else do we have here in our little collection here? We played Bloodshed. We haven't played Keep Driving. We haven't played Blacksmith. We haven't played Ale Abbey. Um, let's see. Let's play... Mm, I like the look of Ale Abbey. It's a, it's a reminder of it. It's about making alcohol in an abbey, and it's got pixel art. We haven't done pixel art. Mm, do I want to play that? I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to play something else? Blacksmith, Ignite the Forge, Keep Driving is also pixel art. Looks a bit like a Oregon Trail type thing. Hmm. What do I want to do? The Streets of Rogue. Or this one, Sand. Look. It's like a big, big shooty thing. It's PvP, isn't it? Mm, is it going to have Mike? Am I going to have horrible people? Keep driving and nobody explodes. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Let's do the keep driving. It seems like the most original game. Okay, now I need to, uh, I can't tell if the, 
I need, yeah, whether it has graphics options will will matter here. Can I please have options? Oh wow, look at that. Uh, full screen. Streamer mode on. What does that mean? Okay. Sorry, I know you can't see this right now. Does that mean there's some NSFW stuff? But I'm glad they have a streamer mode. Uh, right, I need to I need to make this capture a bear with me. Keep driving demo. There we go. I think that's working. Looks alright to me. Okay. Uh, sound. Key A, key B, English, more coming. Okay. Hmm. New game. Remembering roads, remembering destinations, remembering more roads, finalizing. Oh, it's probably music licensing. Ah, I see. Oh, it's too bright. The school lingers in your memory as a faded obstacle. Oh, really? You fumbled your way through. With no real plans for the summer, you decide to head over to an old friend's house to play some video games. You borrow your family car and head out for the weekend. It's Thursday the 3rd of May. 1984, probably. You have until the end of Sunday to get to your friend's house. Don't forget to bring your favourite game. It's too bright! Oh, it's slightly better now. Ooh, wow. Look at that. That's a striking... That's a striking... Um, what's your driver's name? Jim drives car. Oh, Jim drives. There we go. Relationship with your parents. Mm, two, three, two, three, two. Uh, what's your occupation? Uh, unemployed. <laughs> what are you bringing with you? Video game. Wait, no. Video game. Where's? Oh, I already have video game. Uh, Mum's care package: my tools, guitar, and beer. Guitar and beer. Yeah. Car. 1981 sedan. I don't know anything about cars. 1970 muscle. Oh, a truck. Big trunk, average engine. Four passenger seats, average trunk, average... I mean, that makes the most sense, doesn't it? That's a logical car. Name, Jim Drives. Parent relationship, two out of five. <laughs> Job had a trait. Oh, I didn't look. I'm rushing things. Never mind. Uh, uh, okay. How do I do things? Um, oh, okay. I click on it. Okay, wow. Oh, it's inventory management. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's that's fun. Yeah. Video game. Let's put... Let's not put that on. Let's put it in the boot. Cigarettes. I mean, do we need that? Let's put... It, why is this the only place to put it? Isn't there, like, a glove box? Okay. Zidane is the only one available in the demo? Oh, is that right? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Here we go. Oh, click on the car. The open car menu. Okay. Open trunk. Roadmap. Oh, okay. Let's go to Sols Stolska Mouth. Nice. Leave. Keep driving towards yes, this is this is kinda of like an Oregon Trail type thing. That's so cool, look at that. Here we go, road trip. It does look like an N64 game, doesn't it? Um, am I supposed to be doing something? Tractor. What? Oh, there's a tractor. Um Tractor makes a peaceful humming sound. Okay. This is a road event. These symbols are called threat. Oh dear. Each threat represents one of your resources. Energy, cash, durability, and gas. These are your skills. You need your skills in order to remove the threat. Is that too loud, by the way? Um, it sounds a little loud to me, but let me know. During the player phase, you can use one skill. Shots, dots show how many uses the skill has. When you're out of uses, the skill can't be used until you rest. 
Support my icon shows what type of threat the skill can remove. Uh, the star icons. I'm running out of brain power to. It's a little loud, but not overly so. Okay, one second. That might help a little. Use the skill relax and align it with the threat. Click and drag, okay. Um. Oh, this is the skill, right. Relax. Oh, I see. Extra turn. Okay. With each of the skill icons, remove threat, you get a perfect hit. When you get a perfect hit, you get another extra turn. This means you can use another skill this turn. Some skills have costs. Okay. Use have a go to remove another threat. Um. Okay. Great. Even though you got another perfect hit, your turn will end. You only get one extra turn per flare, flare phase. On the road phase, the threat with the warning icon over, they'll attack you. Each threat deals damage to court. What? It's going to attack me. What? Is this actual violence, or is it? Uh, is it like a metaphor? I don't. You can escape from events by holding down the gas pedal, or escaping each threat will damage you. It's your glove box, you can place small items here. Okay. Some of that's gonna be used by skills, okay. I don't really understand what the concept is here. Okay, I guess we'll just weird. I'm not grasping the concept here. Okay, we're about halfway there. I like the graphics, I like the presentation, I don't get the gameplay. Cast Fireball on Tractor, yeah. EPA. Environmental Protection Agency? What? Nothing happens. Have a go. I don't get this at all. Does anyone understand what's going on here? Perfect. You're getting tired, okay? Okay, so I did the thing. Yeah, it is odd, isn't it? I'm sure it makes sense on some level, but something on the road side. <laughs> the presentation is just glorious. But hey, look at that. I'll just pick it up then. Use relax. I don't get it. It. Like, is the threat to my like to my journey? Is that what it means? This 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 briefcase on the road is a threat to me somehow. It's just a weird matching game. Add one energy threat. Okay. Why can't I use that one? Briefcase is very threatening, yeah. You get points for raging until you reach your finisher gauge and get arrested for road rage infractions. Right, okay. Have I fallen asleep? What the hell is happening? 
Okay, can I pick up the briefcase now? Oh yeah, it opened on its own and stuff came out of it. What is that? A gas can. Okay, that's good. That's how helpful. Uh, okay, can I put stuff in my... Rotate, okay. Uh, where's my glove box? I mean, it's here, but... It... Can I put stuff in? Glove box? Use from the glove box. Alright. Never seen this game, don't have a clue. Yeah, me neither. Okay, can I go now? Okay, here we go. We're on the road again. No idea what's going on. How far are we anyway? We're nearly there. Plus one skill point. Hey, it's somebody. Talk. Hey. Oh, if you're going out on the road, you better be prepared. You've got to have a journal to write stuff down in. Oh, and a music player is necessary. Okay. I really thought this would be more like a, a Noah Gervais simulator, but it's not. <laughs> journal, rest in music, and it's a car menu. Okay. Journal. Oh. The skill is locked and costs two skill points. Click and hold to unlock. Not enough skill points. Okay. Someone had a vision. You know? Uh, hey, good luck out there. Cool, thanks. I guess I didn't actually get to the place I need to go? This is just a friend. Oh, can I change? There we go. Okay. Wish I could get. S oh, that's weird. <laughs> what? If oh, suitcase mimics. Yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, let's go. Okay. Uh, do I need to. Okay. We need to set the destination. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Oh, it's a long way to go. Where am I even going? Where's my destination? There it is. Friend's home. Okay. So, this way? Maybe? No? This way? Okay. Sure. Go. Go, go, go. Rest. Okay, rest. That's a good idea. I was tired, right? Night falls. Look at that! That's beautiful. Tired, hungry, cold. Oh, less tired, more... Uh, this person's just been sitting there the whole time. It still says Ragtag Heroes at the top. What's this game called? Keep Driving. I don't know why I bother with the now playing thing. <laughs> Drive to you makes us to play video games. Yes. Oh, yeah. Gratuitous subtitle. Hello. Welcome in. Uh, how do I go? I want to go. What the hell? Let me go. How go? Do I have to hold the gas pedal? Is that it? No. Hey, good luck out there. What What do I do to go? Oh, okay, there. I, okay, use this. Oh, a refill on gas. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is very obtuse. Do I use... Oh, I use WASD. Okay, right. That wasn't clear. Oh, stuff to buy. Dimmed windows, beer, flashlight, steering wheel sleeve, soda. Some soda. Duct tape, matches, beer can, hula dancer. Cool shades. Gotta have cool shades. Uh, more soda. Um, chewing gum. Why not? Lottery ticket. Sure. I'm feeling lucky. Chewing gum. Hot dog. Very good. Put it on the floor. Bandage. That's probably useful. Okay, that's probably enough. Go then. 
Right. And then I leave the town. Keep driving. Yes. The objective is to see how long your sanity lasts. Yeah. <sighs> We're driving. We're going. We're driving past someone. Oh, yes, at last. I got the fan set perfectly. Good strength, not too loud, in all the right directions. Maybe I should just adjust it a little. Leave it be if it's perfect. Leave it be. You put your head up to the fan, but then hold over the controls, but refrain. Cool. I got plus one green guy. <laughs> this game is bizarre. Stop for hitchhiker? Yeah, stop for the hitchhiker. Hello there. Wow, you look like shit. Oh, um, hi. Thanks for stopping. I was I just quit my job. I missed the bus. Mind taking me to the next town with the employment office? Yeah, sure. Oh wow. He looks so sad standing there in his unkempt suit. I couldn't quite tell. He looks like he was fifty, but he's probably in his late thirties. Said he quit his job. And he went, uh what? Yes. Yeah, go there. No, sit in the back sit in the front seat. There you go. Kick out. No. Okay. It's two of us now. Hmm. Well, I have an ad starting in a minute, and I'm not sure I'm going to keep going much longer, so I might just finish up shortly. It's almost half eight. I didn't want to go too much longer than that. Um, this game is kind of hard to judge. It's sort of Oregon Trail-y. I mean, the presentation is amazing. But the gameplay, I'm just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Water puddles. Water puddles. You heard it here first. Water puddles. Um, yeah. Okay. I am going to leave it there. So, yeah, this was the next fest demos and stuff. Uh, yeah. So. I'll probably be back next Friday. Might play some more No Man's Sky, which is what my uh, what my system, what my thing was saying I was doing this whole time. Um, yeah. So, thanks for joining everyone. It's been fun. It's been interesting and strange. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.